All right. We're about a minute and a half away now. That's Th right. This, this is, is a big day. This is going to be very good I because so. this is one of the most powerful rockets to take off because of the configuration of this thing. We're talking five solid rocket boosters on this Atlas V. And so if you can see with the dark skies, they say this thing is going to be spectacular out there this morning. So again, you see it right there. Uh, blast off was actually uh, set for just green, before green. six o'clock this morning, but they had to push it back a bit. And uh, right now, it looks like this thing is ready to go. They have a window open until 643 this morning, but the launch time right now about 45 seconds away. So if you get a chance, if you get some pictures of this, make sure you tweet them to us. Yeah, we'd Do love to see your GDO. We want to see your pictures because this is going to be fantastic. All right, uh, so we are monitoring emission status right now, and it looks like it, this, by the way, is carrying the Navy's uh, mobile user objective system yeah, communication sure. satellite yeah. number four. Uh, if you'd like to follow along on Twitter, it is pretty pretty fascinating to uh, follow along at ULA launch as well as uh, Space Flight Now. They've got a great Twitter feed. Living, you know exactly what's happening. We're going to go ahead and listen in here for a few seconds so you can hear uh, what they're saying from this mission is status. Mission control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Party 180 ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fourth mobile user objective system mission for the United States Navy. MUO significantly enhances communications for U.S. forces on the move. You're now hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Rural program is complete. SRB chamber pressures have plateaued. Lock one. And booster has throttled back up, right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Pump speeds are good. Injector pressures are as good as well. Max Q. Body rates look good. Engine has now achieved the proper throttle setting. Response looks good. And we have begun to throttle down. Engine response looks good as well. SRB chamber pressures looking good. Looking for burn burnout momentarily. And we have SRB burnout. And booster has now throttled to maintain a two and a half G throttle in preparation for payload for and jettison. Coming up on SRB jettison. And we've jettisoned one, two, and all five solids. Looks like a good separation. Now find Q Alpha limited steering. Vehicle rates look good. RD-180 continues to perform well. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Body rates wow, continue. that was spectacular. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, we can so, see it here at the studios. Yeah, we get geeked out just watching it on the monitors. But Daryl now has got the best seat in the house. He's actually watching it live and in person. We want to get right out to Daryl and uh, find out. Okay, so I've been out there for a shuttle launch before, and it feels like... Like fire, like a massive explosion of fireworks are going off. You could feel the ground shake. What is it like when one of these rockets go off, Daryl? Is that same effect? Continues to perform well. Pump speed in the shot. Yeah, it, it's an incredible. Look oh, at wow. that. I don't know if you can see that. We yeah. can. That it's is gorgeous. awesome. Take a shot of that because now it's hit the sun. Take a, go ahead and take a shot of that, Keith. That's really neat. And then now that it's reached that oh, altitude, wow. it's lighting up beautiful. the smoke trail. And this launch has been particularly beautiful because of the time of day that it's happening. Look at that. It is just illuminating the sky uh, after it uh, finally reached above the pre-dawn uh, or above high enough to be illuminated by the sun. That's what we're seeing because it's that high, even though we haven't had a sunrise just yet. That is phenomenal. I haven't seen anything like that. In a long time. Look at that. Is that showing Darryl. up on camera? Oh, Daryl, it's fantastic here. That is beautiful. Yeah.
Look at that. That is something very special. You don't see that very often, um, but this is, this is solely due to the timing of this launch. That's all the smoke from the RD-180 engine that's the main engine of this Atlas V. And uh, as it's propelling now into space, it is creating a beautiful plume of smoke that is completely lit by the sun. And uh, I can tell you, I grew up here in Cocoa Beach, and I've never seen something like we're seeing right now. So this is special. Um, for people over here in the Space Coast, if they're outside looking at this, they're going to really be wowed. Um, it's really phenomenal. And as it appears to look like it's going down on the horizon, it's actually going deeper into space. But because the Earth is turning, it looks like it's going down. But indeed, it is going up. Um, we've reached well into Mach 1 by now. And uh, again, the beauty of this would probably be comparable to something that you would see in a, in a rainbow when a sun illuminates water particles. But in this case, it's illuminating the smoke particles from this rocket. But I'm telling you, when you just see that, that was separation um, from the second stage and now powering through. And I, we're going to lose it right at the edge of that cloud right there. But what a special launch this was to, to view in person. I'm telling you, I'm looking at the sky. Not seeing too much more beautiful than this. So we'll wrap it up for now. But uh, again, we've got uh, the Atlas V rocket, a successful launch, uh, putting up a Navy communications satellite. And it was spectacular to view from the ground here, as I'm sure it was for you folks on TV. Hey, Daryl. Live wow. at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Daryl Nail, Fox 35. News. Yeah, we want to let people know you can see it outside right now. As a matter of fact, that's the view oh, from downtown Orlando right it's behind beautiful. us. Beautiful. We got a lot of pictures here of that. Oh, yeah, we're, our crew we're all ran out outside. Taking pictures. So good stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, coming up, political fireworks between Donald Trump and Jeb Bush. The candidates now going after each other in some new ads. We're going to tell you what they're up to. 623 right now. That's what a cool. treat. Nice way to start the Wednesday. We're back right after this.